Any happy returns? Return of what, exactly? Bless me, Father Poe, for I have sinned. Again, Munro? It's only been a week. I know. I just can't stop myself. What is it this time? Uh, let's do makeup. I've been taking too many selfies. Well, they say pride cometh before a fall. Which is why I won't do it on a cliff. This isn't much of a confession, Munro. Haven't you got something more scandalous? You haven't seen the selfies. Sounds like mm. Munro's beyond saving. But what have you been up to, August? It's time to come clean in. Confession booth. Now remember, callers, no last names, no strings attached, and no consequences. Just call in to confess and let us absolve you of all of your sins. It's cheaper than therapy. And almost as effective. This isn't blasphemous, is it, Monroe? God, I hope not. Excellent. Ah, we have a caller on line one. Line one, you're through to the confession booth. Oh, yeah. You're live on air, Line One. What's your name? Oh, uh, <clears throat> Beck. Welcome, Beck. Spill forth the burning secrets of your tormented soul. He means, what do you want to confess? I, um, crashed my boss's car. R oh, to the no. car, then. That's terrible. Were you hurt? No, no, but the, uh, the car was, uh... It was a Rolls! Ugh. Wow! I know! <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's really bad. Well, how did it happen? Were you swerving to avoid something? Yeah, there was an animal in the road. It was uh, really hairy. It must have been uh, a bear or something else, because it was huge. A hairy bear? As big as a human. Honestly, maybe bigger. I remember because it was a full moon. Huh. Okay, we'll continue with Monroe. What happened to the animal? I oh, ran off. I don't think it was hurt, but I did hear howling. Howling? Yeah, like a like a wolf. Like um, ow! Well, that was terrible, obviously, but like a wolf. Wow, that sounds mysterious, doesn't it, Poe? It does indeed. Thank you for your confession, Beck. Yes, thank you, Beck. It sounds like you're still traumatized by your experience, but I'm glad you weren't physically hurt. Father Poe says, you are forgiven. <laughs> the fucking sound And we'll be back for more confessions after this message. So? Well, that was kind of strange, wasn't it, Poe? Yes, although I get the feeling he was angling for something. Really? Seemed genuine to me. You don't think... No, I'm being silly. You're not being silly, Alice. I suspect he was trying to make us think the same thing. He said it was a hairy animal. The size of a man. And the moon was full. You don't think there could be werewolves in August, do you? It does seem unlikely. Poe, you're not going to believe this, but there's a full moon tonight. Maybe we should leave early and check it out. Don't you have other plans? It's your birthday tomorrow. I wasn't planning on having an early night. Let me call Gwendolyn. 
Welcome Hell back, yeah. listeners. <laughs> this is Dark Nights with Poe. And Monroe. And we're in the confession booth. The confession booth. Line two, you're through to Father Poe. Bless me, Father Poe, for I have sinned. What is your name, child? Casper. And what dark anguish burns your mortal soul? Casper. He means, what would you like to confess? Nothing. Uh, okay. Else I wanted to talk about. Okay. What would that be? Off the air. Of course. Well, you'll have to wait um, a little while, Casper, until after the show. Well, I could wait until then, but that might not give you enough time. Time for what? To save yourself. Sure, let's do it. <laughs> well, you're in luck, Casper, as I have a story queued up. Listeners will be back in a few minutes after this spooky tale. Okay, Casper. It's just us now. What are we saving ourselves from this time? Don't go to Wolf Lane. We're not going to Wolf Lane. Well, we might be. The werewolf, remember? Yes, you are. But you shouldn't. And why is that, Casper? Because it will be the last time anyone sees you. Why? Ooh, ominous. <laughs> of course not. Bad will happen if you go to Wolf Lane tonight. You know, if you want us to take you seriously, perhaps elaborate on the something bad will happen bit. There's a billion other places you could go, and I'm just asking you to avoid one. But if you have a death wish, go to Wolf Lane. Okay, let's... I don't want to exactly cut him off. Threat, Casper. No, this is your future. Trust me, I know. Because you have a time machine? Because... I was there when it happened. Well, we're certainly okay. putting the dark and dark nights tonight, August. Maybe we should stop taking calls. Nonsense, Munro. What would this show be without the heady mix of terror and titillation provided by our caller? Well, this radio host has been titillated enough for one night, which is good, because it's time for Betty Bye. Sweet dreams, August. Thank you for listening. Yes, and remember, don't have nightmares. With Poe and Monroe. So what do you think? Okay, well, um... Go with Mon Monroe, I guess? I think it's only a matter of time before Casper tries to kill us. He's just an attention seeker. So am I. I'm not trying to kill anyone, though. So, what do you want to do about it? I don't know. He didn't really threaten us, so probably doesn't warrant getting the police involved. Are you sure? No. I just wish... I wish we could have one simple, uneventful, boring night. I don't think you'd like boring this morning. You're right. Which is why we're going werewolf hunting. Casper didn't put you off? No. Telling me not to do something makes me want to do it twice as hard. Really? Well, definitely don't do the whistle swinger again. You like the whistle swinger, don't you? No. Even if it's twice as hard? We're not going to make it out of here if you keep talking like that. Yeah, I was going to say, it's at least definitely going to be getting hard tonight. <laughs> you really think we can see werewolves? It would be foolish to rule it out altogether. I know it's almost your birthday, but, well, a full moon waits for no man. Or werewoman. Exactly. I guess it could be romantic. You and me huddled in the car, looking at the stars. They say Wolf Lane's the best place in August for stargazing. Do they? There's hardly any light pollution. That must be why the werewolves like it. Uh, Happy birthday, my love. It's not my birthday yet. You're such a tease, Munro. It's only teasing if I don't follow through. Okay, that was a really cheesy interaction, but... 
Oh, hi. What did I put in see you so soon? You don't need to do that. It's not a hold up. But you've got a differ. gun pointed at us. This is for your own protection. Who are you? I'm Casper Light. I'm from the show. You just called into our radio show. Oh no. I must have come back again. Are you okay? Must be in a no. time loop. This means I've already failed. What is it you want exactly? I work for a company called Coit Industries. They do experimental stuff. A scientist? No, I'm Eminem. The rapper? <laughs> Mishaps and malfunctions. We clean up messes. I'm here to save you. Save us from what? Disassembly. You have to stay away from Wolf Lane. We're not going to Wolf Lane. You told us not to when you called, so we're going straight home. Isn't that right, Monroe? Yeah. I'm so tired. <sighs> See? There's no need for any of this. Please, put the gun down. I'm sorry. You have no idea what's at stake. So you're just going to kill us instead? <laughs> Don't try it. It always ends badly. Okay. Rock, paper, <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> really? Uh I need to do smug about it. Oh, this is fucking weird, but okay. Uh, let's go with paper. Ah, damn it, I lost. Back you go. Ow. Where are we? Are you okay? We're in the sound booth at the studio. Why? I don't know. He's locked us in. I've tried the door already. Is there another way out? Death? I'm assuming Casper will let us out when he's done with us. Ugh. Happy birthday to me. You said you wanted to try something different this year. I'm sorry I had to do that. It's to keep you safe. I work for a company called Coit Industries. Yeah, you said we that. We specialize in speculative technology. I say we. The science team do the heavy lifting. I'm just m and Mishaps and malfunctions. It's my job to clean up the results. Normally, I don't intervene. Just let it happen, then clear up. But people will still be listening to you years from now. Because I've saved you. So, the whole werewolves thing. I don't want to wake up alone. I don't get it. Let's face it. Birthday or not, you'd have gone home to your wife after the show. I know you'd have stayed late and we'd have had some fun, but eventually you'd leave. Like you always do. Monroe. I just wanted someone to wake up with. To wish me happy birthday and give me a hug. But what's that got to do with Wolf Lane? Nothing. It doesn't matter now. Maybe if you get a time machine, you'll find out. Okay, it's like this. Around midnight, you're on Wolf Lane. At the same time, an organization I can't name is testing a, an experimental weapon. The test glitches, you get fried, and m and are called in for disposal, because it's not your normal run-of-the-mill explosion. Tomorrow, the news spreads that you've vanished. 
you're never found. Time travel is Coit's most profitable service. The key is subtlety. You don't use it to kill Hitler. You use it to manipulate election results, justify wars, or in my case, rescue two local radio hosts so you can keep listening to their show. You're welcome, by the way. Okay, thanks, I guess. Let us out! Let us out! No point yelling, Munro. It's soundproof in and out. Let's see you think you're gonna hear him. Let's use our mind power to open the door. So that is how the world ends. You didn't hear it from me. Oh, great. <laughs> I wish you'd say something. Yeah, we can't hear each other. I'm just gonna go. I'll leave it another minute just to be safe, though. Good luck, Poe and Monroe. Great, we did get to hear how the world ended. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, they think they probably did it. <laughs> did I just open that with my mind? Try locking it again. Or yeah, no. we could just leave. Yeah, that too. Yeah, let's just go. Yes, best not to mess with telekinesis. Ladies first. Thanks, Poe. Let's hope Casper isn't out there. <laughs> Wait. Well, I think so we would have found out immediately. There's still time to go to Wolf Lane if you'd like. You're driving. Okay, hopefully we'll get there after midnight, otherwise we're gonna get pulverized. <laughs> You're live on air, line one. What should we call you? Oh yeah, it's me. Whoa, hey! Hang up! Help! He's got a gun! Hang up! Back? Don't! I can't let you tell them where to go. Don't! Don't! Back? Oh, Back? What the hell? Oh, shit. Next time, nights with Poe and Monroe. Wait, that's Welcome it? Welcome <laughs> back to Radio August's Treasure Hunt, sponsored by August Museum. Good news. Monroe only has one more capsule to plot. Don't worry, you'll not be hungry for much longer. Wait, that was the painting we saw in the last episode. If you can fall out of love, we can fall out of here. She doesn't want you to get out. She wants to eat souls. <laughs> Dark Nights. With Pearl and Monroe. It looks like that one's going to be an interesting episode. Well, that was not as interesting as I hope it would be. Yeah, Deadly Sins, uh, you choose Vanity. Or oh, I could have chosen Lost. Uh, let Monroe lead back. Yeah, we got most of the majority this time. Okay, yeah, Hail Mary, you kept Casper on the line. Uh, he lost rock, paper, scissors. Uh, yeah, I chose paper first. Then I uh, chose to escape. Okay, well, I was hoping something more interesting would happen this episode involving werewolves and stuff, but um, yeah, that was kind of cut short. It's kind of disappointing, but yeah. Looks like the next episode is a bit more promising.